Hello, welcome to the Thursday, October 28, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Al Kobar, Saudi Arabia. Beaching went hunting for fishing pages and came across an interesting one that likely was meant to impersonate an Outlook web access site from engineering underwriting firm Mirabilis Africa. Now, uh, the interesting part here is also the host name used to host the phishing site auth.internal.africa. We know what site it's likely supposed to impersonate based on comments in the code. Also, apparently the author of the phishing site had a foresight to actually run the site through a spell checker because there is a comment left over from Grammarly. Outlook Web Access as well as Outlook 365 is one of the favorite targets for phishing and one of the follow-ups is often then business email compromise. And we now got details from Apple regarding the vulnerabilities fixed in this week's update of note here is CVE 2021-3088-3. This is yet another IO mobile frame buffer vulnerability that has already been exploited in the wild and may lead to arbitrary code execution with kernel privileges. In addition, uh, there are a number of other mostly approach escalation vulnerabilities that are being addressed in iOS and macOS. And then remember, you don't have to go all the way to the latest and greatest macOS Monterey. There are specific security updates for older versions of macOS, so it can still get the security benefits of these updates without having uh, to run into functionality issues. And one thing, of course, uh, people attending SANS class and such are always worried about is uh, VMware Fusion on Macs. As long as you have an Intel Mac, be still careful with macOS Monterey. I'm hearing mixed reports whether or not uh, VMware Fusion does work well on macOS Monterey. So better to hold off a little bit. And if you do want to upgrade, make sure you have the latest and greatest version of all other software that you need to run. And Adobe released security patches for 13 different products. The ones that I found noteworthy are Adobe Photoshop as well as Premiere Elements and Pro. I don't consider them emergency updates. They seem to be sort of your regular, yes, somewhat critical in some cases updates. But while Adobe has sort of adopted the Microsoft Patch Tuesday as its update date in particular with Adobe Flash being less of an issue that sort of forced a sync with Microsoft. We do see uh, routinely Adobe publishing security updates out of cycle, uh, which doesn't necessarily mean that uh, these updates are more important. And NetLab 360 made uh, public uh, some details of what they're calling the pink botnet. This happened after the CN cert made some uh, relevant data public. The botnet itself uh, was first found by NetLab 360 late in 2019. Now, this botnet is very China-centered. It has about 160 million infections and 96% of them are located inside China. What makes it somewhat special is that it does use as part of its command control infrastructure, DNS over HTTPS. This is something we do see occasionally pop up, but nothing that has sort of really played a big role in a major botnet like this. And if you're using Jira with uh, the asset management uh, engine inside, it's urgent for you to apply a patch release uh, for Jira. It does fix actually an order of vulnerability with the included H2 database that is uh, being used by inside the vulnerability is from back from 2018, CVE 2018, 10054. And exploits have been available for this vulnerability now uh, for about two years. So shortly after uh, the vulnerability was originally uh, discovered, 
please apply the patch that was now made available. And well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.